Hello everyone, I'm X-Ray Racer 1 and this is part 14 of the Team Associated B5M build series. Part 14, I'll be showing you a few little tips on painting the body for your buggy. Now, um, for those who have been subscribed to me for a while, they'll, uh, when I get to the painting part, um, I just usually just go over a few things with you and then I'll paint the body off off camera and then the next video which will be the reveal. So part 15 of this series will be the reveal video. Um, however, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. The reason why I do the painting tips uh, on, on camera and then paint it off camera is because I used to be using uh, spray cans. So I generally use uh, these Tamiya polycarbonate spray cans for RC bodies. Um, however, since it's been a while since the last build series, I have invested in an airbrush. Now, um, while um, there are still some uh, precautions you should take, um, with um, the with the airbrushes, there's not a lot of smell. I use I'm using uh, Parma Fast Color, and there's no odor. However, I still wear a mask. So uh, for, for so the first painting tip I can give you is if you're not using an airbrush and you're using a spray can, first tip is to have a mask because um, especially if you're using uh, Tamiya spray cans I don't know I haven't used any other brands but uh, the Tamiya the propellant that Tamiya uses is absolutely dreadful I mean you you get head spins from it so and that's and you know it takes a lot for, to, for me to be knocked around second tip is please do it outside um, if you're using a spray can. Um, with, um, with airbrushing I can do it inside which is good because the weather is terrible <laughs> outside today so that's um, good. I can do it inside. Now that's one of the tips. The next tip, um, first of all uh, when you get a body clean it. The you paint it on the uh, inside like so um, when you're doing it, uh, clean it with some warm soapy water, rinse it out and dry it. Then the next part is to mark out your design. So as you can see here, I've got a rough design marked out. Now, the next thing is masking. Now, for those, if you're, if you're just starting out, some masking tape will do for a simple design. However, as you just saw, I've got a, it's, oh, I wouldn't call it a real fancy design, but fairly straightforward. Um, but if you look at the body, you're probably thinking, why is it so dull? Well, that is because I am using Parma Fast Mask. It's a liquid mask. I'll just take it off. You can see inside, Make sure I don't tip any out. You can see it's like a liquid, and how it works is you paint it on with a paintbrush, or you could, if you got like a an industrial airbrush gun, you can spray it on using that. But I just use a paintbrush, so you just paint it on. Do several. I do three layers, and it kind of dries like a semi-clear, dull clear. Then you, because you got your design marked out um, with a hobby knife very carefully uh, cut along the lines that you've drawn on the outside and then you peel away um, the area to be painted. Now uh, I have already peeled away what I'm going to be painting first so the next tip is to spray paint dark colors first. The reason being is uh, with Lexan paint or I suppose with any kind of paint really when you think about it um, dark colors will bleed through um, the, the lighter colors 
So in this case I'll be painting with black first since it's the darkest colour. Um, when you paint, you do a few small, uh, you do light coats first. When you've done all your coats and that, what I like to do is I like to back my uh, bodies with white. So I'll be just using a spray can for white. But to give you an idea, um, here is a VTA body I did. Uh, this is all airbrush, so it's a pearl green, pearl lime, uh, pearl dark green, uh, pearl gold, and <laughs> number 69. <laughs> that's, it's been a long going joke, that's, so uh, that's been my racing number. So that's, so that's been painted, but as you can see, I mean, apart from uh, a few parts here, and here, and on the sides, it's silver, but I've backed it with white and what that does is that helps like the pearl and all that to really pop. So, and obviously here, because this part's black, I would have done that first. And then do your darker colours, so then I would have done the green, then I would have done, then I did the light uh, lime pearl, then the gold. So that just gives you an idea of kind of the order of painting. And you don't need to have um, an airbrush to do something fancy. Here's a body I did. Uh, some of you might have been subscribed or recognise this body from the X-Ray T414 build series. That's all done with spray cans. But these here, that's just ordinary paper that's been printed out and I just used uh, some of this stuff here. Triple X main picture glue you just and it just glues it on so you don't have to be an airbrush expert to do something cool all right so let's get on with the painting just put that there just turn on the compressor Oop. all right so what I'll do is I'll just zoom it in a little bit okay so first of all with your paint, shake it up well. And that goes for your spray cans as well. Give it a good shake. Your spray cans will have a little ball inside them. All right, so now we just put some paint in here. All right, now, Well, before I get ahead of myself, one of the other things I do have, uh, this is just a heat gun. Don't panic, I have this on the lowest setting. Uh, in between coats, I will uh, just dry it. And if you're using an airbrush, it pays to have like a scrap piece of wood, a bit of paper, just to make sure that your airbrush is working. As you can see, now with this airbrush you have like a little lever here that you um, pull back. Alright, so that's working. Now when you're doing your very first coat you want it to be a light dusting. So very lightly put a light dusting on. You probably won't be able to see it but we'll just go slowly. Ah, oh, so unplug yourself again. Alright, try that again. <laughs> Alright, so. And of course, I forgot to put my mask on. Naughty me. <laughs> Safety first, people. Alright, so let's try that again. You probably might not be able to hear my voice too well, so. Just do a few, you just do light, light dusting. You just hold it at a little distance away.
Did you remember you, go, you wanted a light coat? Alright, now, um, if you're using an airbrush too, I recommend uh, you get a get a bit of foam. Uh, don't use tissue uh, because you can wreck the little needle. Okay, and once you've done a little bit of painting, hang on a sec, I'll just pull my mask down. Once you've done that bit of painting, uh, you just squeeze it in like that and just clean the clean the inside there just to get any excess paint off. So now what I'll do is I'll just get my heat gun and I'll just just give it a quick dry. Okay, so the whole idea of um, just doing a light dusting, as you can just see there, the whole idea of that um, is a very light coat will make it easier for the rest of the paint. Ooh, make it easier for the rest of the paint to uh, stick uh, to the body. So, um, so that's it's pretty easy once you've done once you've done that. So now what we'll do is, of course, that's now dry. I'll do a slightly heavier coat. So. Again, just to make sure, pull it back, working. All right, so we'll do a little slightly heavier coat now. Just follow the pattern, it's quite easy. That's the, like the design you've done. foam again, give it a quick clean. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll just get hit it again with the dryer. Okay, so it doesn't look like much there, but as you can see, it, I know it looks terrible. But so, so that's what I was following. As you can see, I just followed it around. It doesn't look perfect at the moment. I've got to do a few more coats. So um, that's pretty much what I'll show you. Um, so really, all you have to do is just remember: um, paint dark colors first. Do a light dusting for each colour, for each cut first coat of each colour that you're going to do. Um, with fast, the like liquid mask, it's really easy to peel back. And just remember, when you're cutting with the scalpel, if you're using liquid mask, cut it very gently. Don't push right down, otherwise you'll end up scoring uh, the body. And you can cause damage if you have a crash, the body could split. So... 
that's what I'll show you there for painting tips everyone uh, stay tuned for part 15 for the reveal can't wait for it <laughs>